Hey everyone, this is Andy from Checkout Page. I'm going to show you how to put together this checkout to sell a t-shirt that has some product variants. One for size and one for color. And Apple Pay, a quantity field, some custom fields for name and email address, a discount code, and a little bit of styling. And at the top here, there's a gallery for your product images. So let's, let's, let's walk through how I put this together. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. Here's all my many checkout pages. Remember that with checkout page, you can have as many checkout pages as you want. You can have one or a hundred. It's up to you. Um, so let's start from scratch. I'm going to go to the top right and click create checkout page. And this is where we'll start creating our checkout. Let's first give our checkout a name. So t-shirt example. All right. And this is a one-time payment, so I'm going to leave the pricing as is. And I'm going to give the checkout a price, say $29. And then I'm going to add a discounted from price to make the checkout look like it was on sale. Okay, so say the t-shirt used to be $49. And I'm going to click Create Checkout. Okay, so here's the checkout. It's all ready to go. If you wanted, you could already embed this in your website or you could share a hosted payment page and you can start selling with this checkout already. But I'm going to continue to customize this checkout and make it perfect for my t-shirt. So let me move myself out the way. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give my uh, checkout a description. So choose your size and color below. I'm going to click Save. And you see in the preview up here, the, the description has been added to the checkout. Now let's add some images to our checkout to show off the t-shirt. So I'm going to click the Images box. I'm going to find the images on my hard drive. Um, this one. And wait for that to upload. Click Save. And we'll see it's been updated in the preview of our checkout. It's looking good. Let's add another image. Um, this one here. And I'm going to click Save. And you can see in the preview that I can toggle between the images in my checkout. So I'm not going to add any downloads because this is the physical product. But instead, I'm going to add to the next. I'm going to move to the next tab. Sorry. Uh, which is variants and add some variants. So let's add a variant. The first one is going to be for size. And I'm going to add options uh, for each size that I want to sell. So the first one is small, then medium, large, and XL. For now, I'm not going to add any additional pricing to these variants. Each size is going to be $29. So let's click on the settings for this variant. I'm going to mark this as required because I want to make sure that somebody chooses uh, a t-shirt size when they're checking out. I'm not going to add any pre-selection and I'm going to ignore the rest of the checkboxes for now. Instead, I'm going to head down to layout and this is where I get to choose how the variant is shown in my checkout page. So I want this to be a grid and not a list. So I'm going to choose grid going to say four columns. I want this to be compact size. I'm going to hide the variant name, which is uh, size. And I'm going to center align the text in the variant options in the grid in my checkout page. Let's click save to see how that looks. We'll see that the variant has been added to the checkout. It's looking great. And the text in the variant options has been center aligned. So now I can choose a size of my t-shirt. It's looking great. So let's add the second variant. The next one will be for color. And let's give it a name, color. And there's a black t-shirt and a blue t-shirt. Again, I'm not going to change the pricing for now. I'm going to click settings. I am going to make this required. And this time I am going to select show and hide logic. I'm just going to do this really quickly in this video. And in later videos, I'll go into more depth on how you can set up conditional logic in your checkout pages. Uh, but for now, uh, we're going to select the size variant and we're going to say is not empty. 
and then I'm going to go down to layout and again I'm going to make this a grid say two columns this time compact I'm going to hide the variant name and I'm going to center align the text in the uh, variant options in the grid let's click save and again we'll see that the the product variant was added to the checkout page and the text in the options is center aligned in a grid it's looking great so let's move to the next tab which is fields now the first thing I'm going to do is add a discount code that's been added and now I'm going to add some custom fields first thing I'm going to do is uh, collect a name from my customer and make sure that's customer name and make that required and now I want a quantity field so I'm going to select quantity here I'm going to give that a label of quantity click save and you can see that the checkout is not loading Oh, there we go. Um, so these have all been added to my checkout, but I want the quantity to be at the top. And then name. And there we go. They're all ordered exactly as I wanted them. So let's move to the next field. As we've set up, you know, we've added our images, we've given the price, we've added our variants, we've set up the custom fields. And now I want to tweak the design a little bit. So let's go over to design. Now, I want to center align the text in the product description. And I want to change the, the color of the pay button to say a kind of pinky color. That's looking good. I'll select white text. And I'm going to slip, click save here. And here we go. I see that the pay button is updated to this nice you know grabbing pink color looks good grabs people's attention now I don't want it to say pay I want it to say buy now so I come down into the custom labels section and I find the pay button and I change this from pay to buy now click save and I see that the text in the button is updated you can change the text in of any label in the checkout page and you can translate any label into any language you want okay so we are good to go I think the last thing on the list was to make Apple pay into the Express payment um, so we're going to settings payment methods and we'll select use Express checkout and that puts Apple Pay at the top here, which allows people to just quickly check out without necessarily completing the rest of the fields in your checkout page. So let's open this checkout um, payment link and we'll take a look at the checkout page in action. Click Add to Site at the top right there and then we will open the hosted payment page. And here we go, here's our checkout. So we could share this with anyone in the world to sell this t-shirt. We can embed this uh, checkout on our website, either as a responsive embed or as a pop-up. And let's take a look at the conditional logic we set up in the product variant. So first I'll choose my size. I'm a size L. And now I see the, the colors I can choose from. I'll choose a blue t-shirt. I'm going to take two of those t-shirts. We see that the price is updated. Let me add my name, an email address. Earlier on, I created a discount code uh, to make this 100% free. So I'll just go free. I'm going to apply that, which means there's no longer anything to pay. And I'm going to click Submit. And there we go. The payment has gone through. I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And I'm going to select payments analytics and I can see uh, the payment page for this test payment that I just made that has a full breakdown of the the checkout the product that was in that checkout who made the purchase what they selected and their information so that pretty much wraps up for this video 
please let me know if you have any questions about adding product variants to your checkouts. Let me know if there's a video you'd like me to create. And, and you know, we want to hear from you. So thanks a lot for your time, and we'll be back soon.